Shopatize is uh, an app-based platform uh, which allows brands, consumer brands, to directly communicate uh, and in fact start a relationship with shoppers on a direct, on a direct basis through their smartphones. Um, and we do that by encouraging shoppers and brands to work with each other to earn rewards for loyal behaviour, for a certain amount of, of brand interaction and actually at this stage for, for any kind of deeper engagement that allows brands to discover more about shoppers and for shoppers to discover more about brands. Not only obviously are we seeing a greater degree of, of e-commerce and, and, and to that end obviously at some stage m-commerce will be the next thing, um, but we also know that uh, shoppers are increasingly using mobiles to inform their decisions around what they purchase um, and I think to a greater degree they like a, 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 to, to actually use those smartphones to, uh, to, to empower their purchasing decisions uh, in a way that perhaps other media doesn't allow them to do. Consumers use mobile phones in a completely different way when they, when they access the internet. There's very little browsing uh, and there's no real kind of instinctual consumption of huge vast quantities of content, which is obviously the internet model of old. Um, and in fact what they're doing is they're going very quickly to get convenient and relevant and, and almost behavioural changing information and that's either search based or it's information based or it's friend uh, influence based. We know that uh, well in excess of 80% of shoppers at some stage have activated and used a, a form of coupon. So that's either something they've torn out of a newspaper or it might be a, a, something they've received in, in, in return for injury competition. So the degree of interaction remains high um, and the interest in rewards remains high, not least of all in, in the kind of economic climate we, we, we see today. Um, increasingly, the, the, the challenge, both from a consumer perspective, but also from a brand perspective, is, is to establish where and what value really represents. Um, they're clearly, from, a, from both a brand and consumer point of view, there comes a time when discounting is fatigued, and uh, either the price can't be lowered any further, or actually value is only represented by huge discounts, uh, in which case uh, neither party ultimately wins. I guess what the new media channels and, and, and kind of social chatter, uh, social networking has, uh, has, has established is that A, uh, traditional brands are able to uh, perhaps uh, engender relationships with, with, with shoppers that, that they weren't previously able to, um, but actually B, from a, from a more interesting point of view, we're seeing a number of challenger brands who are making huge strides in very short times into what were once kind of almost impenetrable marketplaces. Um, and the ability to do so by striking up a rapport with um, a, a group of shoppers who potentially very quickly become advocates um, offers a challenge around a huge opportunity to, to shortcut what was once a very long-term and very expensive uh, campaign proposition. I think um, by establishing a relationship with a device that's as personal as a mobile phone, I think both, both the retailers and the brands um, uh, who sell in them uh, recognise there's an opportunity to monetize that relationship far better by delivering value that's outside of necessarily a discount in monetary terms. Um, and the ability to reward through content, through rich experiences, through money can't buy experiences, at a personal level because of what you understand about a shopper is, is a great opportunity for both retailer and brand.